Hello, we're back with another unboxing and this time we're taking a look at the Smuggler's Bounty Crate. Um, this is a box that used to be produced by Funko, um, giving away um, pop figures, t-shirts and various other merchandise, obviously in this particular case related to Star Wars. They stopped producing them just over a year ago, um, for reasons I'm not too sure why. Um, I picked this particular one up when I went into the television and movie store down in Cardiff. Um, uh, it's, this particular one is themed about Star Wars Rogue One. Um, so all I know is obviously there's a Rogue One themed pop figure. Other than that, I have no idea. So let's not waste any more time and take a look and see what goodies are inside. First up, there's a couple of pin badges which they've taped to the inside of the box. Um, uh, not too sure how well you can see that one. As always, everything that we get in the box, if it's any good, we'll rate it a hit. If not, we'll rate it a miss. Um, and then you'll see the total build up as we go along. Um, first one there. <laughs> First pin badge, um, yep, always a good turf. Star Wars pin badges in the collection, so that's definitely a hit. And second, and this one that does not want to come off. They actually glued these down. And the Rogue One patch. Not many people I think use patches these days, but <laughs> yeah, that's another cool one. So that's a uh, a hit. So let's get into the main part of the box. So we'll have the figures and everything. That's information about the box itself, so we don't want to see that. T-shirts. Looks like it's a Funko themed Star Wars Funko themed t shirt, so this looks quite fun. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, as you can see, it's a Rogue One but it's with pop figures on the t shirt, so that's quite a cool one. Yeah, definitely like that one, so that's definitely another hit. That's three for three so far. It's not very often you actually come across things like that, you actually pop figures on a t-shirt. But yeah, so definitely like that. Next one. First of the two pop figures. So it's kind of a, it's a mini one. Oh, Hikari Minis. It's a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive Vader. That's quite a nice one actually. Um, it's kind of got a glittery effect. But yep, give that a definite hit. This feels like a top figure. Another, another exclusive one to the Smuggler's Bounty Pack, so the only way you can get this is in this pack. It's the Imperial Death Trooper from Rogue One. Yep, really nice figure there. That's a definite hit there. Another, another pop figure as well. And Genoso. Again, this is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. So again, this particular variant you can only get in this pack. So another hit. And that's it for the box. Now, in the television and movie store are actually mm -hmm. selling this box off for £25. So, two exclusive pop figures, a t-shirt, two pin badges, and and the obviously the Vader figure as well. All that's twenty five pounds. Incredible value for money. I don't know what the original retail price was on the 
struggle with bounty packs, but for this price, it was incredible. Um, sadly, obviously, these aren't going to be available anymore, but for, for something like this, I mean, it was a great pack. Um, I can't thank Television and Movie Store enough for having this pack available for sale. Um, I think they only had one left, and it wasn't particularly my size, but it was the same pack. Um, if you get the chance to get this particular one yourself, you've got exclusive figures if you're a Star Wars pop figure collector. I know my wife's going to have her eye on these ones for her collection. I mean, she's got an entire bookcase full of Star Wars pop figures. So as soon as she sees this, she's going to be uh, having her hands all over these. But yeah, it's a fantastic little box. Um, it is a shame that Funko stopped doing these because it's this would be an ideal thing for pop figure collectors. Exclusive figures that you cannot get anywhere else. And no doubt these we on eBay at ridiculous prices for collectors. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's not really much to add really, it's a fantastic little box, um, nothing bad in there at all and it is a shame that Funko stopped producing these. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below, um, uh, drop us a like if you enjoyed it, um, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all again next time. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click on the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, spare a moment to share this video on Twitter, Facebook and all your social media pages. To get updates on all of our latest videos delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe now using the link on the screen.